Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, we will learn how to create a responsive website using media queries. Uh, let's say we have this web page. We've got a top bar, an image, and some text. And we have to convert this website into this. So it has a left section and an aside section. And when you open this on a mobile screen, this is how it looks. The top bar changes, our section fills the entire screen and the aside fills the entire screen. So let's get started. Let's bring up our code editor. All right, so first we need to add this aside. So let's do that. Let's create a div and inside the div we need these images. So let's create that. So image, it requires an SRC and alt. So this is the source. And let's say this is the all text. Similarly, it requires a label as well. So let's add that. Let's make a copy of this. We need three. So one, two, three. Let's save it. Copy the second one. Update it. Let's copy this label. Let's paste it here. Similarly, for the third one, let's paste it here. And the last label. Let's paste this one over here. Let's save it. Coming back to our browser. And as you can see, we've got these uh, images and labels. So now what we want to do is we want to move section and these images next to each other. So let's try that. So to move something next to each other, we can use inline block. So section, let's say display inline block. So if you look here, the width looks like it's 70, 30%. So let's say with 70%, let's give it a margin right, say 16 pixels. It's a little more, let's say 24 pixels. Let's save it. Similarly, for a side, let's add some properties. So display inline block with, let's say 25%, let's save it. Coming back here, and as you can see, both these elements are next to each other. It's just that the styling is a bit off. So first, let's reduce this image size. Let's add some classes to these divisions. Let's say place wrapper. Let's copy this class, paste it here and here. Let's save it. Let's select this division, place this wrapper, let's give it a 100% width. So the 100% width of this would be the total width available in the aside element, which is 25% of the entire width. Similarly, let's save it, let's bring this up here. All right, now let's select these images. So place wrapper, inside the wrapper we have the image element. Let's give it a hundred percent width. So basically we are giving the total width available inside the div. Let's save it. And as you can see, the images have gotten smaller. All right. So coming back here and as you can see, uh, these elements aren't aligned at the top. So when you're working with display inline block, you get access to another property vertical align. So let's try that and we can give it a value top. Let's save it. And as you can see, our aside element is now on the top. So now we need to give it a background color white. So let's give it this card like shape. So coming back here, 
first let's add it for a side so background color white let's save it let's give it some padding say 16 pixels let's give it a box sizing say border box because i don't want the width to increase let's give it a border radius let's say 8 pixels let's give it some shadow so we can use box shadow so 0 2 pixels uh, for the vertical shadow and 5 pixels spread or blur and then hash let's say triple a let's say that okay that looks cool also after all these uh, div items we've got this separator so what we can do is we can use a border bottom for the place wrapper so let's say border bottom one pixels solid and triple a let's save it uh, okay so we've got our border it's just that it's right next to the image so it's not visible so let's give it a margin bottom so if i give a margin bottom say 16 pixels so it creates this space and our border is visible also if you notice the border is available for the last item as well and we don't want that so let's select the last item so place wrapper last of type let's say border bottom zero so we are just hiding the border and let's remove this margin bottom as well let's save it and as you can see these properties are gone for the last item okay so it looks pretty much same just that the font size looks a bit small so let's increase that so for the labels we have used paragraph tags so place wrapper paragraph let's say font size 18 pixels okay that looks much better all right so moving on to the section part let's give it a background color let's say background color white let's give it a border radius eight pixels let's save it let's give it a box shadow so again let's give it a same value so zero two pixels five pixels blur and hash triple a let's save it all right so it looks pretty much the same now let's make it mobile responsive so let's just create open this in another tab inspect and change it to the mobile version so as you can see our section is not taking the entire width so let's give it the entire width let's bring it here okay so to define special styles for mobile screens we could use media queries so at the rate media screen and let's give it a max width let's say 768 pixels all right so now what we want is to give full width to section so right now it's a display inline block so let's change it to block and let's increase the width say 100 percent let's save it it looks better but it has a lot of padding on left and right so let's see why is that so over here in main we've given padding of two percent and eight percent so top bottom two left right eight so let's change it to two percent on all the sides for mobile screen so we aren't updating the margin and text align so we could simply remove these properties and update padding to two percent okay it looks better also the font size is a bit big so let's reduce that so coming back here Now for the font size for heading we've used this property and for the paragraphs we've used this property so let's copy it and bring it down here let's paste it so let's say font size 24 pixels for the heading and font size 18 pixels for the paragraph we aren't changing any other property so let's just remove these let's save it and it looks pretty much the same all right so the section part is done moving on to the aside all right so let's select the aside element let's say display block 
Let's give it a width of 100%. Let's save it. Coming down here. And as you can see, a block looks pretty much the same. All right, now moving on to the last part, which is the top bar. So in the top bar, the logo and menu item is center aligned. So let's do that. So the ID for top bar is top bar. So hash and top bar. Let's say text align center because these are all span or because these are all inline items. So we could simply use text align center coming here. Okay, so the menu items are center line, but not the logo. So let's check. Uh, so logo has a margin, right? So let's remove that. So let's select logo. Let's change the margin, right value, say zero pixels. Let's save it. Also, we want the logo to be in one line. So let's change the display value. Let's say display block. Let's save it. All right, that looks much better. Let's add some styles for the menu items. So menu item, let's increase the font size first. So let's say font size 18 pixels. Let's give it a margin top, say 12 pixels. Okay, it's not working because uh, these menu items are inline elements and top bottom properties don't work on inline elements. So simply let's change it to display inline block. Let's save it. Also, if I inspect this element, there's a margin right for all these elements. So that's why these menu items aren't completely in the center. So what we need to do is remove margin from the last item. So coming back here, let's select the last item. So menu item, last of type, let's say margin right and zero. Let's save it. And as you can see, it looks much better. And if we open the desktop version, so even the desktop version looks pretty cool. So that's how we use media queries to create responsive websites. So if you notice media query isn't something magical. So the only thing media query does is it helps you create breakpoints. And after that, it's all styling. It's all up to you how you want to design layouts on different, different screens. That's all for today, guys. If there is something that you did not understand, feel free to drop a comment and we will discuss it. See you in the next video. Bye and take care.